Welcome back dog, today I'm going to be explaining how to beat overleveled players with some live demonstrations. Okay, so into the first game here. I'm playing in League 7 right now, where the level cap is 14. And only about half my deck is level 14. My towers are underleveled and most of my troops as well. About half my troops are underleveled. So, I'm just going to be explaining how I would play if I was facing against overleveled people, which I will be no doubt today. So the first tip kind of that i would give is that you don't want to play too aggressive you want to like play second to your opponent you want to let them go first let them make the mistakes let them be too aggressive and then try to like punish them kind of and win slowly the later as the game goes on the more advantage you have seeing as you're better to like compensate for the level difference with the extra elixir kind of so single elixir is going to be tough but i would just play slow you know don't don't go in aggressive see i'm not going like for random golem pushes in the back i'm just waiting slowly for them and then he's probably going to attack me and then you generally just want to like win off counter push kind of thing so i'm just going to keep oh pretty bad but timing on the pump but i don't think you'll have he does have enough for poison that's fine because that means he won't have enough to support the mega knight so we're just stalling out the time here to double leg so that's when we're really going to benefit i think we can just go for our e drag here plus we're probably gonna need to evo bobs this as well okay evo bobs come down gonna be a nice car push see how he stops it's probably gonna nade him in a firecracker okay looks like he doesn't go for it it's fine i guess so yeah this is a pretty good situation to be in because we're not down a ton of a, da a ton of damage in single elixir and it's about to hit double but we can start building up a big push so just gonna keep cycling now, we're gonna wait for him to like, do something maybe. Okay, we probably just go for our golem now since it's about to hit double. We do have that little prince on the board. So we are gonna be up a little bit of elixir now, especially since he goes five record at the bridge. Just gonna have to like, I don't really wanna take that damage. I don't know if it was gonna hit or not, but I didn't wanna risk it. So let's have a look. I don't think you can defend this push, I'll be honest. Okay, so I'm just gonna put all my troops like this. He's probably gonna need another Tesla if he's later this fire cracker in. Yep. Okay, Golem's gonna die now. He is getting targeted. We go for our second column at the bridge here. He doesn't have much. Hopefully the little prince survives. Perfect. Okay, we just go for our ability now. E Drag should reset onto the golem. Perfect. We go for our healer as well. And yeah, there's no chance he's winning this. So as you guys saw, I was just patient, defending in single elixir. Waited for double, kind of waited to get a nice elixir advantage. Went in for my push, and then he just couldn't defend me. So that's basically just a very, that's a perfect game to demonstrate what you want to do and how you want to play. Okay, so on to the next match against Hadi. Just gonna apply the same kind of principles. This guy also has an underleveled dagger duchess tower, so I guess that's nice to see. That makes things a bit more fair. Okay, just gonna go for my little prince like this. Probably don't even need to pop the ability yet, perfect. Okay, just gonna nade it like this. Perfect, right to the bowler. But the prince does get a shot. This should be a pretty nice game because his tower's underleveled, so we should be able to not struggle to make a nice push. Just gonna cycle my barbs, wanna get to my Evo. Okay, I'm probably looking to pump up soon. Yeah, we can pump up now. Probably gonna go for a skeleton barrel. That's a skeleton barrel. Just gonna position my bomber like this to get King Tower. And hopefully it kills the, the perfect, okay. Bob does get damage on the left tower as well, so we are actually up in damage. Okay, just gonna go for my little prince now. Okay, perfect, we do catch the barrel. Zero damage taken, that's pretty nice. And I'm actually gonna go in for a golem now because we are up a leg, so we've got a pump down and everything. And this guy doesn't have much he can punish us with, because our towers are full charged. He only has like skeleton barrel, goblin barrel, they're both out of cycle. So I think this will be a very nice golem push. And he's going to struggle to defend especially, since his towers are underleveled as well. Okay, so we can just go for a nader like this, we can go healer. I think the e Drag can get back on the fun dragon, perfect. He's back to evo bats, but that should be okay. Yeah, we didn't really get much damage off that push, but 
the main thing is we stole the time to double elixir. It looks like he doesn't have a spell for our pump as well, so this game should just be pretty easy to close out. So yeah, just gonna probably look to... We're probably gonna defend this sequence first since he's probably gonna attack. Yep, there it is. And then I'm probably gonna look to go for my golem at the back now. Firecrack will probably hit our tower a bit, yeah. Hopefully not again, hopefully the tower kills it. Perfect. Now we're going to make just a big push that I don't see him defending this. He can't defend this. Yeah, we can just ignore the barrel pretty much. It will get a bit of damage, but E-Drag does turn back. Go for Barb's opposite lane, Little Prince like this. Yeah, he's got Mega Knight, but that's not going to do much for him. We just nader this in. Bomb the bridge other lane. Barb's taking down the tower. Massive push on the right. It's going to be... Pretty easy win there. And then I'll see you into the next game. Okay, on to probably the last match against Dragon Blanco. As you saw the last game, we just applied the, the simple principles of just being passive, waiting for him to make mistakes. He overcommitted. We got a nice elixir advantage, but up a massive push and he couldn't defend. So just gonna try to do the same here. This guy also has a bit of a underleveled dagger duchess, only by one level though. So I'm just going to do pretty nice defense here. I'm probably not even going to pop the ability because the little prince should. Okay, well he's up, so I'm going to just pop my ability now. He's going to get damage, but I'm not too worried about that since we are playing like a heavy B down there. So it should like punish him back later down the line. Don't really want to go for Golem yet. I don't know if he has Graveyard or not. Probably not if he has Bandit actually. Okay, but we can go for a pump now since we got up a, a bit of elixir anyway. And it's just going to die to the barbs and the tower. Okay, so, okay, as execution as well. That might be a bit tricky to get around in double elixir. But we do have the nader, which should help us to just nader it in. Okay, going to just, ooh, I did not mean to time that like that. I'm supposed to save the bomber, so that's going to be tower then. We couldn't protect our bomber. But that's okay, you know, sometimes you're just going to lose the tower like that, especially with the B down deck and because of levels as well. But I'm just going to show you that you can win still from these kind of positions. So we're just going to go for our golem now. We've got a nice pump on the board, so hopefully we can get like a good push here. Maybe not take the tower, but I just want some good damage here. Okay, we're going to set up an E-Drag here. He's probably going to execution us somewhere. Oh, he's a witch as well. Okay, I don't know if he's got like a arrows or something. We can nade all this. I'd like to get a healer down as well. Okay, perfect. Healer does hit the dragon. And that is going to be tower. So he's going to try to bomb with that, but... Yeah, it will just die. So our E-drag, very nice. We can just set up for another golem now. Little Prince is down for a three-card cycle. That's pretty nice. Hopefully golem goes in front still. Yep, perfect. And this is looking like a really good position now. See how we were down so much, but we just turned it around like that. Okay, good. He's gonna get the map this. Perfect. I'm gonna go for a healer now. And I'm looking to go Evo Bob's in the pocket in a minute. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it now. Hopefully reset the mini pack to keep the thing alive. Perfect. And now we're just gonna spam and basically take the nice win. Very nice win there. Again, three for three at the moment. I might do one more actually. We'll do one more here. Just to like, I want to see if we can lose. I don't know that sounds weird, but like, I just want to see if like, to show you how what happens when you lose in it. Okay, we're actually one win off of uh, Grand Champs, so that's pretty nice. So we're definitely going to try to get that here. Okay, going to probably start out just waiting, honestly. I'm very fine waiting like this, in a situation like this. We could go for our little prince as well, if he doesn't want to do anything. Yeah, we'll just cycle our little prince. Okay, he does have Valkyrie, so... I don't know, I might pump here, but... Okay, yeah, definitely gonna pump after a Fireball. Fireball's gonna kill a little prince, because it's underleveled, so... Just gonna have to deal with that for the rest of the game. He has Lightning as well. What the hell? Okay, healer should take care of this. And yeah, not gonna do anything too aggressive, he's just gonna wait. Let's see what he wants to do for that. 
Okay, he's gonna bob, so we can just bomb with that. Does he have any more spells other than Fireball Lightning? His arrows as well, okay. So we can go for my little prince. We can take care of this, perfect. Okay, I'm actually just gonna cycle barbs now, because then I'm looking for like a... I want my Evo barbs for my Golem push, which I'm gonna do soon. I might just pump in the back now, take the positive one trade. Actually, no, I don't want to give him that tower damage yet, since both my towers are piled up. I'm actually just going to golem now, perfect timing since he cycled minions. I didn't find a drag, what is this guy doing? Wait, that was a terrible to find a drag, we can basically ignore it. So our tower should kill it, but I don't know if like the, the level is going to make a difference, because it's level 12, I don't know if it still kills it. I don't know if they were the same level, you can just ignore it. Yeah, we can't really ignore it, but we're going to anyway, I just want to see what happens. Oh my god, it took another shot. Wow, okay, so that level really hurt us there. Because I know if it's level 14, you don't take any damage. But yeah, we're looking kind of rough now. Just going to pump, take the net plus one trade. After three lightnings. Yep, that's the lightning. Just going to go for a little prince. And I'm probably just going to build up a push now. I don't know if this guy even has a win condition. Okay, he's going to fight with that perfect. We've got his spells out of hand now. Although he's probably going to cycle back by the time we build up a push. Okay, yes, Hog. We can just go like this. Hog should get only one hit. It's fine, I guess. And then he's probably going to find a dragon here somewhere, hopefully now. Okay, he's going to play Barb instead of Hog. He's going to fireball that side. Probably going to arrow the right side as well. Yeah, we can go for our little prince now. We kind of need damage right now, or else I don't think we'll win. Okay, he's gonna lightning. We can just go barbs at the bridge. I mean, he lightning, but he didn't hit the E drag. E drag's gonna get retargeted on the minion. That's pretty good, actually. And then we can probably just nado this back. Hopefully, like away. Get the barbs on the tower. What a nado! Gets the fireball. Fireball's not gonna kill the healer. Healer's gonna take the tower. Very nice game there. Very nice explanation of how to come back against losing positions as well. You just wanna try and get. You don't, you don't want to like just give up or you don't you just want to like keep the elixir advantage try to put up massive pushes one push after another and then hopefully that should do it i'm just gonna open his chest i need kind of just things in my deck to be honest 10 wild cards are nice we can upgrade our dagger duchess uh, i don't need any of this stuff so just give me this give me bats i'll take cage and Legendaries. I don't really need any legendaries, nothing to my deck. But we'll definitely take the fisherman over the princess. Okay, bar barrel. Little prince, please. Very nice, very, very, very nice. We'll take the little prince for sure. And that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something as well. And I'll see you in the next one.